All right, we're going to learn how to use Google SketchUp. First thing you're going to need to do is locate these two files. Once you've found those files, you need to open your home drive, open up grade 6, and open up technology. In your technology folder, you're going to drag these two files. And once they're there, we don't need to do anything with this Word document except view it. So we don't need to rename that one. But let's rename this file. You can click rename to get in here. So I'm going to say my number, whatever that is for attendance, underscore, Mr. underscore Han, so your first and your last name, underscore grade 6 template. Now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to see a menu come up. So once you learn more about th this program, you're going to maybe choose a different template. But for now, you can just say start using SketchUp. And it's going to open up. So interesting, we have a box and we have a person. Let's go back to our f home drive and we're going to open up our grade 6 three views document. This document is going to show us what we need to make. Alright, here we go. We have the top, front, and side views of our drawing. First one we're going to make from the top it looks like four squares. I've added some color just to help you in this first drawing just to be able to see the top, front, and side. So the top is going to be red for our drawing here. Our front there's two blocks and our side there's two blocks. You notice there's no blocks on top here so that means we're going to have a total of four blocks. Let's go back to SketchUp. Remember Alt Tab is how we're going to get back and forth between these two windows. So I'm going to click on my block. I'm going to copy which is Control C. Then I'm going to paste which is Control V. When I hit Control V I move my mouse and then I'm going to put it down somewhere. Just put it out of the way. Don't try and line it up yet. I need four blocks so I'm going to paste two three four. I'm going to leave my original so out of the way. Now in SketchUp you can move around. The way you move around is you can zoom in and out with your scroll wheel orbit by pushing down on your scroll wheel and pan by holding down the shift key and moving left to right. What we're going to do now is we're going to hit spacebar and then M. And what I do is I have this highlighted. I'm going to click on the edge. I'm going to snap it into place. See how it snaps? I'm going to click there. I'm going to spacebar click on another block so it's highlighted blue, click on M, find a corner, it's going to infer that corner, click and let go, I'm going to move, and then it's going to snap into place. One more time, space bar, highlight this in blue, click M, click on a corner, now notice I've picked on a bad corner. I can't get anything with that corner, so I'm going to put it down again, I'm going to click on another corner, and I'm going to snap it in place. If you don't grab a corner, you won't get it where you want it. A lot of times students will just grab anywhere in the middle. And you'll end up with something that looks close, but if you zoom in, you see that it's not actually correct. So grab the corner, snap it. And there we go. Let's check. So there's our top view, Alt-Tab. There's our top view. Let's orbit to the front view here. Check. There's our front view, and orbit to the side, and there's our side view. Correct. So that's all there is to it. Make sure you're snapping using your M key and your space bar, and you'll be ready to go. You go back, do the next shapes. You should do all of your shapes in this same file. Just make sure you leave plenty of space between each shape go as far as you can. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask.